Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Nick Alex, and the devs finally dropped the Black Friday countdown check-in event. So I wanted to go over the rewards with you, talk about why they're good, why they're not so good, and then give you guys some more feedback on this in general. Because we know Black Friday's coming very soon, but there's a bit of confusion from players basically figuring out like what step we're on. And we're on the basically, these are basically the pre, pre-Black Friday check-in event countdown it's the countdown to black friday it's the, it's the final countdown okay so what are we going to be getting starting on the 13th so very very soon like in the next daily login or something like that you get a six star character selector which is cool good for new players uh then we get 200 black antimatter 200 north stones of chaos 200 bios 2 million gold 100 mandalay gem fragments 100 awakening crystals 100 ccf 100 tcp and 100 essence of dimension and then we get an odin's blessing chest random ob and then we get the transcended character ticket or the transcended character selector i should say excuse me so this will automatically give you a transcended character that's obviously by far the best reward on this list and it's the reason why you probably should not be transcending these characters especially if you only have a couple of them left um because you can get them for free either during black friday or during the anniversary so to first talk about these rewards here how do they differ from last year is something you're probably wondering. So let's flash backwards a year. This is my video from a year ago. You can see the date there, November 12th, 2021. And you can see here the six star character selector is exactly the same. It's 100 black antimatter instead of 200. It's 100 Nornstones instead of, you guessed it, 200. And then if we, oh, where, Alex, show the rest of the, show the rest of the clip here. Then we get to 100 bios instead of 200 bios and then 1 million gold instead of 2 million gold i think you can notice the difference here that's the only difference everything else is exactly the same that's right so it is like a lot of other content creators have already said a copy paste event all they did was d double bump up the uh black antimatter chaos Northern stones bios and gold Complaining about free stuff is always an awkward thing to do, so I'm not going to complain too much because I know we're still going to get a lot of free stuff from the Black Friday logins. By the way, for those of you wondering where the Tier 3 selector is, that comes much later. That comes, actually, I think it's after Black Friday. There's going to be like a Black Friday token. Um, I actually don't know if it's in the game yet. Let me just double check if it's in the game already uh, in the archive, the, the token archive. I don't think it is. No, it's not. But it'll it'll be it'll be like a token event. You can see last year's Black Friday token event was right there. That one. Um, and so, and actually, that's one of the only ones I... Oh, no, I do have that one. It was 2020 that I didn't get the Black Friday. And ah, that's right. That's right. Uh, but anywho, there will be a Black Friday token event. And so that's when they'll drop the tier three selector and a bunch of other rewards. And that's when we'll get the, you know, the, the, the 50% all uniforms and the, the 25 or 30% off all characters and yada, yada, yada. So there's, there's more rewards to come. Okay. I'm not, I'm not complaining about that stuff. That stuff's great. But as far as just copying and pasting this countdown check-in event, yeah, they, they, they bumped up, they, they increased almost half of the rewards but they increase the rewards that no one cares about. No one cares about, you know, it, it really doesn't. 100 versus 200 black antimatter has no impact. These are, these are blips. These are grains of sand on the beach. You know, they definitely could have doubled the Mandalays and the Awakening and the Cosmic Cube and the Titan and the Essence. They could have doubled all of this. If they had doubled everything and it was two Odin's Blessings chests, not two, not two selectors, okay, I'm not crazy but two Odin's Blessing Chests, why not? They just gave us an Odin's Blessing Chest because because of what? Because the CTP of Rage didn't work properly? Like, they gave us a C they gave us an Odin's Blessing for basically nothing, right? For reading that dev note, uh, you know? So, again, it's not a, it's not a big deal. It's kind of, like, awkward. It's, it's not that big of a deal that they didn't improve these rewards because we know better rewards are coming, and we know that it, this doesn't really make that much of a difference. But on the other hand, it's like... If it doesn't make that much of a difference, why couldn't you? Why couldn't the devs have put more effort into making these rewards better? Now, for those of you saying that there, where are the tier four rewards? Where's the where's the the soul of the Faltine and the Carbonadium and the I guess tier four books, right? Yeah, that's true. 
let's wait and see hopefully they will give us those rewards maybe in the bingo like they they need to increase and, and they need to update the rewards in, in other things that they do for black friday um and that's often been a problem that's often been the one of the most challenging bosses for the devs in marvel future fight i don't know why it's so hard for them to do it but we just have to beg them for years to update rewards and then after years they're like okay i guess we'll finally update the rewards but by then half the players have left because they just got tired of waiting so hopefully the devs don't make the players wait years and years like uh, celestial essence right celestial essence rewards like 500 of it a thousand of it whatever should be somewhere in the black friday uh login right if not this one then then the one that comes afterwards because again there's going to be one afterwards this ends on the 25th and that's when black friday starts and then there's going to be even more logins so celestial essence artifact selector um you know tier three selector tier four materials soul of the Faltine, carbonadium uh you know tier three book selector like the 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 you know the the book select i don't know what's called some book selector and then the Vishanti book selector. So I, I'm hoping to see all of that stuff, but I'm not holding my breath because I know the devs kind of struggle with that, which is annoying, but it, it is what it is. Um, as far as the transcended selector goes, I can do a separate video for it. But one thing I did want to point out about who you should, who you could select, the best choices just off the bat, if you don't have most of these characters, Dr. Octopus and Human Torch, yes those characters will do the most damage for you they're going to be the most functional obviously they need their newest uniforms if you wanted to go more pvp luke cage and heimdall are, are great options if you have the premium uniform silk is also an awesome option uh, and then of course moon knight right moon knight but it, most people build moon knight themselves but yeah if you don't have if you really don't have anyone go for moon knight first and then dr octopus and then human torch uh and then if you um you know want the pvp what i mentioned or if you have silk's uniform gets i mean i don't know why you would have silk's uniform and not have her transcended but who knows however there is one other character and that is shadow shell so danny ku drew uh, a few weeks ago almost a month ago wow he drew this really cool cyberpunk shadow shell 2099 and uh, i have a small cameo in the video at the end but uh this is why i'm saying just as a psa if there was a possibility of this character getting this uniform in marvel future fight you could choose her from the selector because she is available shadow shell right there war tiger right there and we did see that danny ku's drawings did were brought to life there's the final product looks awesome Danny Ku's other drawings were brought to life in the form of their Sunbird and there is Blue Dragon. Okay? So I just wanted to point that out to you guys. It's not a guarantee by any means, but it is a possibility. And so I wanted to give you all of the information. So that, that's who I would consider. I would consider, you know, Moon Knight, Dr. Octopus, Human Torch, and then further down for PvP, Luke Cage, Heimdall. And then actually Sif is not bad if you get her uniform as a support. Uh, probably above Heimdall and Luke Cage, and then Silk under Heimdall and Luke Cage. Uh, again, it really just depends on whether you have her uniform or not. And then Shadow Shell coming in as the sleeper. I'll do a separate video on this when it when it actually drops, when the selector actually drops, or a couple of days before the selector actually drops, because we still have like two weeks for this. Um, but I just wanted to bring that to your attention in case you've already made other decisions, or in case you're going to transcend one of these characters soon with your resources. Just save your resources for future better transcended characters we can hope for maybe a tuma namora okoye something like that um, and then just use the selector on one of these uh things you could also another tip here you could also hold on to this because it's gonna have a seven day expiry so you could hold on to this until december 1st i believe it should still be available on december 1st for you it, it wouldn't have expired and you can see what the new story mode um fragments are because it will um, it will reset then, right? So you could see who the new characters are because this resets in 20 days. And then, so probably 20 days seems like a long time, dog. But anyways, um, you can see who, who the new ones are. And then if Elsa gets chosen a lot or Spider-Gwen or one of the other transcended characters that are available that you don't have, have a show, whatever, then you could choose them. Those are basically all of my tips. 
I may have just inadvertently uh, given you all of the tips that I have and not actually uh, created a need at all to make that dedicated video. But you and I will both forget in two weeks and I'll and I'll be right back here explaining that. So yeah, that's it. That's basically all there is for the video. Uh, unsurprisingly, half of the people are happy and half of the people are angry. And uh, yeah, the train rolls on. So yeah, hit me up in the comments down below. Let me know what you think. Thanks so much for watching. Smash the like button. And I'll see you guys on Twitch for more God of War Ragnarok. Take care.